Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple trivet. This trivet's a really easy thing to make, and I hope everybody will like it and enjoy. It doesn't mess around with legs or anything like that, so it's a pretty good thing to use. So our starting material that you need is you need at least 16 inches, or 400 mil by three quarter inches wide by three eighths of an inch thick. Metric size is posted on the screen right there. And the first step in this process is we're gonna take about approximately a half inch of material or 12 mil if you will. And we're gonna bend it at a 90 degree angle, a sharp 90 degree angle reason for this being is we need to take and be able to upset this little bit into a bit of a ball on the end here. And we're just going to keep radiusing this off. I'm giving myself a little bit more material here. And we're just wanting to knock off the corners off the end of this bar. Later on here in just a minute you'll see why this is important. So that's what we have so far. So we'll take another heat on it here. And now we're going to continue to take a knock off the corners and get ready to roll this on up. So nothing really difficult here. We're just trying to take and dress off this little bit of a nub here on the end and get it to where it's nice and smooth and even. And you'll see why this is important here in a minute because we're going to roll this up. Now I've went ahead and already took in the liberty and kind of tapered the bar up to that little section there, that little rounded section or the nub on the end, I already tapered the bar a little bit into that to transition it a little better into the thicker bar section. And now all we're going to do is scroll this up. You want to keep your hammer blows even and consistent with light to medium hammer blows and use a lot of sweeping blows. You also do not want to take and get too far ahead of yourself at any one stage. Take your time and make sure that this center piece is very clean looking. As it's the part that's going to draw the eye or the most attention. So it's kind of like a snub end scroll. After each successive heat, just keep taking longer and longer heats and continue to move the bar stock constantly like what you're seeing me do here to roll this scroll up. Just like so. You can do this with just about any size dimension bar stock. The biggest trick is that the longer side or the three-quarter inch side has a tall enough cross-section to keep heated pans off of whatever they may burn. You could probably get away with half inch bar stock for this. I like the looks of three-quarter inch a little better. One inch is definitely tall enough and so I chose three-quarter inch. for this particular process. And so now we're just going to continue to tap this and just keep working it around until we get a nice, even, pretty scroll. Now there's a lot of complicated designs for trivets out there, but ultimately a trivet is just a way of keeping a hot pan off of something that doesn't need to take and get burnt or seared by that pan or otherwise dirtied. 
So as long as it f fills that functionality role, you can really experiment quite a bit with different designs and options with trivets. And this is just one of those design options. So after you get it scrolled up all 16 inches, you should end up with something like this. This is approximately five inches or 125 mil in diameter scroll. So we're just gonna brush it up real good, keep it really nice and clean, take all that scale off. And then the last part here, we're just gonna go ahead and get ourselves a touch mark. Now I stamped it right there in the centerpiece. You can stamp it wherever you like. It just seemed convenient at the time to stamp it there. Like I said, be careful of that as it will draw the eye to the center of your piece there. That's how all scrolls work. Give her one final brushing and then coat with whatever you like. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching.